Well, good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> I'm going to start a new series here. This is going to be a 4-inch rocket stove. Um, not sure how basic or uh, developed it's going to become, but uh, we'll just kind of move along here and uh, see see where uh, things lead. I don't e <clears throat> expect to... Uh, I don't have any plans like for uh, for an oven because uh, the the they would never be big enough to uh, be useful. I guess in my in my opinion, but uh, six inch stove. Way we were, I uh, fired it up for la first time last night and. Uh, was very impressed uh, of the performance. So that kind of gave me the incentive to, this morning to kind of play hooky here and uh, start a four inch. The reason I want to do the four inch, uh, maybe somebody can't afford the six inch or um, this will be a little bit more portable, something that uh, you can throw in the trunk of your car, or the back of your truck and uh, take it to the park or uh, to the campground and you know for cooking a, a simple meal um, might be a, a little better to have two of these so you can be cooking two different things you know your meat in one and your vegetable on another one whereas my six inch that i had built uh, it's definitely going to be uh, produce enough heat and big enough that uh, you, you can cook for for a large group so this will be more for uh, you know a, a couple or uh, just yourself uh, that sort of thing plus uh, I guess just something different here test out play with and uh, see what happens also got the the camera I was using, or my, my, my cell phone here seems to produce a lot better picture than the uh, camera I was using. And uh, I did find my tripod and uh, got the camera mounted up to it. So it ought to be a, a little bit more pleasant to uh, watch, no moving around. So as usual, I always get started and then, then think about kind of documenting it with the camera. Uh, so I uh, stopped here real quick before we got too far and uh, kind of show you what, what, what I've done so far. Basically the same as the six inch. We're just dealing with the uh, four inch here. This is four inch quarter wall. Um, what I had on hand Still going to be a, maybe a little on the heavy side to make it real uh, easily to be moved. I mean, I, I don't expect it to be uh, maybe 35 pounds when it's done. I don't know. I guess maybe we can try to weigh it here. And uh, if it seems to be too heavy... Uh, and uh, wanted to make a few of these, yeah, I might drop down to 3 16ths, but I, I just don't think the cost, it'll say the total cost uh, in material is uh, probably gonna be about $5 difference. I'd rather have it quarter inch and uh, last a very long time. 3 16ths would probably, uh, unless you're cooking with it every day, three meals a day is going to last a long time also but anyway uh, well we've got the uh, and I need to get the proper terms with all these pieces but uh, this is where you stick the wood in uh, and I didn't measure the angle again either but uh, 
we're uh, less than 45. I, I left it the same as on the six inch. I I I, I found that wor really worked well. I I I just don't think uh, going up steeper to make it feed better. It, it I just didn't like the. I don't think it would look right, and uh, the, the sticks seem to feed fairly well by themselves, even though you, <coughs> excuse me, you do have to poke it down in there, which is not a big issue. That just kind of stirs things up. Usually when you got to poke back in there, you need to be adding a few more st sticks uh, to keep a consistent heat. Uh, the chimney, uh, we've already cut the uh, part of it out here and got it cleaned up so we're uh, ready to stick her on there and weld uh, how I did this uh, I've got a portable uh, bandsaw uh, my big vertical bandsaw the blade uh, I messed up, messed it up the other day and I uh, didn't have a, a, a another blade for it out here and I, I think I located the, the one that I thought I had in the house and I just forgot to bring it out here this morning and so anyway we we did it with that I mean that, that thing uh, I mean surprisingly cuts through there really quickly and then to do the the vertical pieces here uh, we turned it upside down and took it to the plasma table and uh, <laughs> stuck the electrode in there at probably about a 45 degree angle and just pulled on both sides and uh, very little bit of cleanup and uh, other than just grinding the edges just a little bit I it, it, it fit right in there uh, another thing that uh, came, that I found very helpful I bought this uh, belt sander uh, when I was finishing this table um, this table I found this piece and uh, it's an inch and a quarter thick uh, out in the scrap pile uh, at a recycler and it was dirty and rusty and uh, anyway I needed a way to smooth it up clean it up it had some weld marks and so I thought well band or a belt sander like this is about the quickest way well, what I found is that to become a very useful tool here for cleaning up your metal. Um, works much better than uh, uh, flap disc. Only downside to it is is the metal wants to take off shooting. So <clears throat> anyway, I got these uh, stops here set up. Lay your metal, but you got to go this way. Uh, really, I've got another one here, third one here somewhere. You know, we could put put this one in here, and then we can go any directions, and uh, I'll keep that from shooting off the table. But it just makes a makes it really quick to to clean up. I do have a a larger belt sander on on a stand. It's one of those belt. Uh, it's got a belt. Uh, 6 by 48 belt and a 12 inch uh, round disc uh, on the side of it in a all in one unit uh, works pretty good but it, for some reason I, I just this uh, it's quicker with this belt sander and I don't know if I, the well I know that belts getting real, well used uh, I got a pretty coarse belt uh on my other uh, sander and anyway it doesn't it, it, it at least it just takes that uh, rust off there and uh, it doesn't uh, it leaves a lot smoother finish so with that uh, i guess we'll uh, proceed along here I'm, i want to weld this on here uh, and well probably i'll take my measurements first i i, I am going to put a a, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a warming shelf on this. I, I just like the looks of that. It's kind of 
So I'm gonna take my measurements. I'm gonna weld that while it's cooling. I'm gonna run in the house, draw the, uh, draw it out on the, uh, in the CAD program, and uh, get that ready. I can bring it out here and uh, get the piece cut out. And by then, this will be cool. So I can weld that on there, and then uh, we'll just see how far we go.